Did you know it was possible to allow multiple people in a Zoom meeting to share their screen? Uh, this is something that's kind of a little bit hidden in Zoom and it's maybe a little bit tricky to get set up and operate. And it's got a couple of requirements, but it is something that's possible. And uh, because I had trouble with it, I wanna share how I got it to work. And also I'll be able to go back in the future and rewatch this video uh, because there's a good chance that I will forget how to do this because it's not something that I'll do all that often. So I found out this was possible by going to Zoom's website and it said that if you go to, at the bottom of your screen as the host, if you go to the arrow next to the share screen button, that it would pop up something that gives you the option of having simultaneous sharing from multiple participants. But anyway, the box doesn't look like what happened to me when I clicked on the down arrow. And so I wasn't sure what was going on. And I do want to mention that I am talking about Zoom meetings here in this video. There is also the possibility of multiple shares through Zoom rooms, but that is technically a different product. This is 2023, the beginning of 2023, and Zoom has a different product that costs about $500 a year per room, but we're talking about Zoom meetings in this video. So as I mentioned, there's a couple of requirements here. If you want to see multiple shares, you have to have multiple monitors set up on your computer. And so not everyone will be able to see all the shares uh, as I understand it. But the other thing is that you have to have remote control turned off and that setting is a little bit more hidden inside Zoom. So let's go through and find those two settings. So we're gonna to go to the Zoom app and then up to, I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna to go to preferences here. Things will be similar on a PC. And the first part is use dual monitors. That's very simple. It's, it's the first thing here under general. So I'm gonna turn that on because I do have dual monitors on my computer. Currently, it's not configured to be two separate desktops. It's uh, mirrored, so they're, they're exactly the same. But, uh, so you'd have to, I'd have to separate those out. But that is checkbox number one that you have to have if you want to view both of the shared screens. But that still doesn't fix the problem of not giving you the option to turn on sharing. So let's go to that second setting, which is the remote. So that one's a little trickier to find. So if we go back into preferences here, what I do is I scroll all of the way to the bottom to view more settings. And that takes me to the Zoom website close this out for my account. And then I'm going to scroll down, actually go to meeting, in meeting advanced. And if I scroll down, it says remote support. So this has to be turned off for, for this function of multiple people to work. So turn that off. And then let's go back and I'm gonna restart that Zoom meeting now so that I can show you the new settings and how you need to. Uh, arrange those new settings. Okay, so we're now in the new meeting and I'm gonna click this and look at that. See, it shows up differently now and it keeps going back to allow one participant at a time. So you need to, each time you're gonna do this, say multiple participants can share simultaneously. Turn that on. And then also down here, if you go into advanced sharing, you can decide who can share. All participants are only the host. <laughs> I don't really have a, a real meeting going on here. There's no one else joining me. So I think that's why this is grayed out. But once you have a meeting with other participants, you should be able to check those boxes to allow participants to share. So as I said, I don't have a meeting going right now, so I can't show you how this works. Plus it's a little tricky because it shows up on two different monitors, um, but it is possible. It's just that you need to make sure those couple of settings are set correctly. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, make a comment down below if you need some more information about how to make this work. Thanks much.